That's what we've been asked to uh, uh, label SM Records through my manager to uh, play for the Swatch opening uh, and help me tonight is uh, my friend Will uh, and uh, Peter, fantastic musicians, uh, for a wee three piece. So it's just opening the Swatch store in Glasgow, kind of loads of press, kind of drinking champagne and play a few tunes and uh, go home happy hopefully. So Unbelievable man, it's pure crazy man, it's just like I think I'll never ever love that song done no matter what happens, I just like getting recognised in the street, which isn't, to be honest, people might think that, you know, you're going to be totally up yourself or narcissistic, but it's just actually overwhelming the first time somebody went to you, that guy sings for Girls Street. It's just really nice that people remember it and, you know, long may it continue, man, you know, and I'm, I just like to say to everybody that they bought the album for HMV, for iTunes, just thank you so much, man, I really appreciate it, thanks a lot. But at the other side, uh, to be honest, I'm just, Totally overwhelmed, totally not overwhelmed. The fact that I only picked up a guitar 17 months ago, and you know, people are like the songs are all street, they love it, and people are coming up to me and saying they really enjoy it, and playing all the gigs, and a lot of people coming to the gigs. And to be honest, I'm just overwhelmed, and I can't actually believe that it's happened. To be honest, unbelievable. Well, I'd always been musical, obviously. For people that have looked, I've seen obviously the acting, uh, I've done the acting, and I don't know. So a lot of stuff happened in my personal life, and I picked up a guitar, and I don't know. It just kind of. It's about a cliche, it just fitted and it's the best thing I've ever done and it's the best thing that could ever have happened to me and I'm so glad that uh, I did it because I just love it. And here we are today after playing the concert hall, uh, waiting to hear back to Tini Park, uh, Belly Drum, Lasto, playing things like this and getting offers and stuff, it's just it's fabulous but that's what I've done at my management at SM and I'd just like to thank them as well because they're great guys and they know what they're doing. I'm inspiration, I don't know. Inspiration. Obviously, I like, I like Johnny, I love Johnny Cash and Would You Believe Sinatra. Uh, I'm, I'm very generic in my music taste, you know. But I'd say my inspiration writing wise is just different. It happens to me. You know, I write, if something good happens, I write about it. If something bad happens, I write about it. If something, you know. You know I just keep writing, you know. I just keep writing. And, you know, I, I think that's what people people kind of maybe appreciate in my songs. It's no nonsense, it's no kind of throwaway lyrics. It's about stuff they can relate to. So. That's my inspiration, man. My inspiration is heartbreak, happiness, dejection, feeling down, feeling up, uh, a good party, a bad party, just even obscure things, just things that happen to you in day-to-day -day life, you know? I write about them, so thanks to everybody that's bought it, the iTunes, HMV, came to all the gigs, supported me, helped me out. These guys is here, uh, Will, my photographer, Andrew, uh, the guys for the band that are helping me tonight, some boy, the guys that are doing all the audio the night for me, my management, everybody that's got me where I am, thank you so, so much. And from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate it. And always remember, every dog has its day.